thank you for this uh, this opportunity to present uh, a different and I hope uh, vital take on images, uh, rights, and uh, and metadata. Um, I am the executive director of the News Media Coalition, um, an organisation which represents major publishers in, in many territories around the world in their attempt to protect their copyrights in relation to the content they create at major organised news events. Um, for my sins, I was also for 17 years the picture editor of the Times in London, so I've probably contributed to both bad and good practices around um, metadata, the capturing and tagging of content as it uh, goes through the cycle from moment of capture through to publishing and then the rest is a hidden um, uh, aspect of operation which editorial people like to pretend doesn't exist, like, like sales, like the legal processes and everything else. Um, and what I do want to do is just pull you back to the moment of, of capture to describe some of the problems that exist um, uh, as a, for an industry that invests massively into uh, news gathering but is prohibited from exploiting its legal um, assets um, by those that stage events and those that control journalistic access um, to those events. Um, so the, the News Media Coalition um, is a, is a not-for-profit organisation which is backed by reputable um, and robust organisations which um, wish to protect the ability of news organisations to represent the public. Uh, that may sound slightly worthy, but there are certain aspects um, which uh, act as a, as a common theme across all news organisations and other news, uh, news gatherers, including um, photographers um, in the editorial and, uh, and, and um, commercial sphere. Um, so we are supported by Agence France Presse, represented here by um, Christophe, by AP, represented by many others uh, from, uh, from, from, uh, from New York, um, many publishers in many territories, Thomson Reuters and Getty Images as well, to name uh, but a few. Um, in the context of this conference, then, um, news agencies and news, um, news publishers um, wish the freedom to capture, to distribute, and then monetize the content that, uh, that they are creating. But the organizations that, that we represent uh, have to battle every day um, in many countries um, to do that simple um, transaction, which is to capture content get access to the event in the first place, create the content, distribute it, uh, and get it published with the minimum of arbitrary rules. Unfortunately, the rules that we operate under, that news organizations operate under, either represent one page of legal contractual obligations, or thanks to the, the legal um, community, up to 27 pages of <coughs> restrictions, obligations, third-party use limitations, etc. So it's our, our task um, to try and both minimise those arbitrary rules, but also with the intention of creating some commonalities, um, as scary as that is, across territories, across sports, and also non-sporting organisations and events as well. And I'm talking here about fashion, um, celebrity events, um, sometimes um, even political spheres where there are restrictions on the news gathering process. So we are out there um, every day trying to minimize, minimize um, those restrictions and of course there is a, there is a flow through here from our ability to su secure minimized limitations and that um, uh, fearful um, process um, of adding metadata to imagery, mostly imagery, as it goes from the touchline through to the picture editor's terminal into the, into the archive uh, and then it beyond into the commercial sphere. So whether it's um, uh, a, a rock concert um, or even um, content that is tweeted, um, 
fighting in the lower chamber uh, of the um, uh, reputable um, lower chamber in the, uh, in the Italian parliament, publishing live content, uh, arts institutions, news gathering or publishing to mobile. We uh, are battling against um, ever stronger ambitions of um, organisers to firstly not recognise the copyright ownership but to take to convert that into their own uh, ownership um, and this is something that we're doing every day um, to give you um, a quick example one w which I know is, um, is certainly very contentious and painful to all news, or news organizations in this current uh, challenge um, in India um, the cricketing authorities um, though, though cricket may not be big um, please regard it as representative of, of what's going on uh, elsewhere. The cricket authorities have locked out news organisations, reputable um, image creating organisations like Getty Images and Action Images, which is part of Thomson Reuters, from covering a major ongoing series of events in India. The significance of this uh, uh, dispute in a far off country um, can be described by the reaction of the news, news organisations which are not prevented from covering that particular event. So AP, Thomson Reuters, Agence France Press, Australian uh, Associated Press, publishers in many countries can, if they want, capture imagery at this event, but have decided against doing so. Um, in support of this campaign, and in support of those organisations which should have a legitimate right to at least be considered for attendance uh, at that event. Um, the Olympic movement uh, is one that um, I have also been involved in and so it then becomes um, relevant to this conference um, because I've had some success um, in the UK at instilling greater regimes around IPTC uh, metadata tagging. Um, out of my experience from, the, from being picture editor of the Times, uh, which was the first UK publisher to introduce a precursor to the sort of IPTC coding that uh, you're so proud of now, um, the, all the photographers that represented the British National Newspapers, with some pain and with some screaming, um, conf conformed to... Um, um, IPTC captioning from the moment of delivery from the field of play um, to the, um, the photographic pooling operation that operated at the London Olympics and we're, uh, we're pretty proud of that. Um, it was quite bruising, um, it was not perfect at the start um, but by the end of the, the London Olympics I can say that with all the necessary um, metadata fields filled in the material flowed um, in less than four seconds from moment of capture through to the, um, the end users who at that point were the um, newspaper publishers. Uh, and there's the proof. Um, uh, a part filled in IPTC um, caption uh, set of fields um, and that as I say was done uh, at the moment of, of capture. So just to go back um, to my theme, whether it's live, live scores or news uh, video or um, prohibitions around access which result in charges being levied on news gatherers, we face an uphill um, battle and this does translate into the contractual relationships that exist between news gatherers and, and, and events. Um, the Rugby World Cup in France in 2007 um, was uh, was very in instrumental in creating the news media coalition, or certainly creating an environment which the news media coalition had to had to begin representing um, news organisations. Um, and here is uh, some three years prior to the next Rugby World Cup in England, um, the authorities, the rugby authorities, are clearly making a claim over so much of the future of news publishing. That will translate into restrictions placed on news gathering and therefore it needs to be translated into 
um, the restrictions which accompany content, certainly picture content, uh, as it flows through the publishing and distribution uh, and end user processes. Um, and sometimes it gets funny. I mean, it is so ridiculous that sports organisations welcome news organisations, news gatherers into their events, but then claim ownership over that content. That um, uh, the displays of, of anger amongst the publishing community um, end up with something like this. So instead of Australian publishers carrying pictures out of, out of India, they've here mocked up a um, tabletop uh, manifestation of the previous day's play. Um, other news organisations around the world have, have created matchstick cartoons. Um, they've even resorted to watercolours um, to, um, uh, to display the reality of the, of the previous day's play. So as, as comical as it is, again, it displays the um, earnest concern that there is um, uh, around the news gathering process um, and how that is being um, uh, diminished um, or is likely to be diminished, diminished unless we stand up um, to it. Um, so a little bit of, uh, of what, uh, what we do and what we organise um, and that particular dispute in India is, on, is ongoing and if you care to um, Google either the BCCI or the News Media Coalition you'll find uh, a lot of heat around that particular um, issue. AP uh, thankfully also involved in limiting its coverage of cricket so I'm not quite sure what that goes from to but um, certainly um, the support of AP is very welcome. Um, so brought down to the reality on the ground it is about who signs um, the, uh, the contracts of accreditation those contracts which um, as I say um, sometimes well that's page 17 so um, uh, certainly define what um, what we can do with our content and I suppose the challenge for any news organization trying to embrace the reality of metadata flow is how you append 27 pages of limitation into the, the, the relevant uh, field in an IPTC set of um, uh, descriptors, or you link out to something else. Um, so that you know that that's that's a real challenge. So just a quick summary of some of the limitations which uh, either have been imposed, are being imposed or uh, are ongoing points of dispute with organisations, um, if you add it all up, um, given the investment in news gathering in the first place, this is cutting um, us off at the knees as we try to um, maintain viable and sustainable businesses. So um, some of the um, uh, strategic issues we, that we, we, we face as an industry are that the, the rights around this area are sold long term. So I routinely get involved in conversations about three, five, ten, twelve year cycles. So the rights that are negotiated today are going to impact on what you're selling potentially um, 15, 16 years to come. Oops. Um, we are dreadful at uh, being short-termism uh, in, in this respect, but the News Media Coalition is trying to stretch the conversation um, so that we try and get in before the rights holders um, sweep up um, most, of the, most of the rights. Um, of course, we do have value, and I think that's a constant theme from, uh, from this conference. Um, but we're not very good at describing what that value is, so we're trying to embark on um, a, a new project, um, scalable project, which will identify why we're of value to the commercial chain, but also um, of value to society. And by the commercial chain, let's not be naive here, um, exposure, certainly photography, um, directly relates to um, sponsorship values uh, and other commercial contracts around events. Um, and we are, uh, we have been guilty of failing to articulate why we're important and why we should be regarded as stakeholders, not only around the negotiating table, but also the corridors of public policy making, whether it be the European Commission um, or other national um, territories. 
Um, so a little, a little list of some of those organisations which are uh, that stand behind the News Media Coalition, either as uh, as members, board members such as um, uh, Christoph here, um, or or news organisations which wish to associate with our activities. Um, and as I say, part of part of our um, and, and uh, ambition and moving forward this year is to try to put some values to, to, to news and how it uh, benefits third parties. So in summary, uh, the News Media Coalition is there to, to help um, some and all news organisations. What we do is um, negotiate on behalf of the news gathering sector uh, and the benefits of that um, wash out to all news organisations, large or small, that wish to, to apply to uh, at attend events in the first place. So we're not about um, trying to create um, monopoly positions or exclusive discrete positions. We, we try to um, enhance the ability of all news gatherers to go in, represent the news, uh, represent the public, uh, and to do so in, uh, on the basis of, of viable industry um, positioning. So that's my presentation. Thank you very much.